Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Jay Harris of Wales, all 33, 34 years of him. Um, he added the uh, the Commonwealth and European light, uh, flyweight titles to his British belt. He defeated um, a very, very game, Connor Butler, over in Liverpool. Won a unanimous 12-round decision, deservedly so. Um, Connor Butler, previously undefeated in 12. He had 11 wins with one draw. Butler um, picked up those two belts, the Commonwealth belt. Um, I think the Commonwealth belt was against Craig Derbyshire. That was in last year. And then he followed it up with a, a good win over Matt Wendell for the uh, vacant EBU title. Matt Wendell, the punching poet. Uh, and both those two victories were over 12 rounds. So Connor um, Butler was coming in. He's only got one KO on his record in his 11 wins, but he was coming in with a lot of you know, terrific experience, recent experience. He'd done the rounds. So you could say he was prepared for the uh, 12-rounder against the old veteran, Jay Harris. Connor's only 26, so he's like seven or eight years younger than Jay. But if ever there was an example of experience mattering in a fight, I think it was this one, because Jay Harris just seemed to have a bit too much nous for the guy, a bit too much savvy. Um, Jay has been, um, let me see now, is it? I think he's he's held the belts before the EBU and the Commonwealth before. I know he held the Commonwealth because he won it off Thomas Asomba about seven or eight years ago because I was at that fight. And he also won the EBU title previously. But now he's got all three belts again. He can make a run at the um, the world the, the world title that's eluded him. And for Jay, it's really an Indian summer of a career because he had an absolutely disastrous 2021 <clears throat> where he lost back-to-back -back fights by stoppage. Both body punching um, knockouts. He lost to Ricardo Sandoval in eight rounds. Got knocked out from um, and it was a, it was left hooks to the body. Uh, and then he moved down to light flyweight uh, for one of those you know WBC or WWBA intercontinental trinkets. And he got done by Hector uh, Flores in six rounds. Then he went back up to to flyweight. Um, Picked up the British title against Tommy Frank. That was a really good performance. Um, and yeah, now he's got all three belts again. And he just had a bit too much of everything for Conor Butler. Uh, the experience really showed. He was able to... He, he, the thing about Jay Harris is, when I used to watch him seven, eight years ago, he was a pure boxer. You know, this sort of wiry kid who moved around, did everything conventionally. And then in recent fights certainly against Tommy Frank he's a lot more aggressive it's almost like he's got more much more confidence with that experience and he knows he can do the 12 at a high pace and he was putting it on Tommy Frank and he did the same with Conor Butler he, he was very very sort of uh, very much the box fighter putting lots of pressure controlled cultured pressure on Butler uh, edging forward quickly letting his hands go these guys are flyweight so that so you're going to see punches in bunches all the salvos are going to be done and interestingly and fantastically, because I always love to see this, uh, Jay Harris worked Conor Butler's body from very, very early on in the fight, very early on. Now, that's not to say Conor wasn't doing some good work, because he was, and he himself was firing some body punches. Don't forget, Jay Harris's two, well, two of his three defeats, the two stoppage defeats, were to body punches. So inevitably, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not privy to what his his tactics were, but I, I'm pretty convinced his team must have thought, okay, we've got to bang that body. Um, but no, nah, Jay was the one doing most of the body work and he was containing Connor, who in the past has, himself has liked to put pressure on the opponents, uh, doesn't really like to box on the back foot. Um, and by the mid rounds, I thought the body punches were taking their toll on Butler. And I thought Jay might stop Butler in sort of the next three, four rounds. In, in actual fact, Connor hung tough and he will be a better fighter for this for this 12 rounds. Make no mistake about it. Um, and if he wants if he wants inspiration, even though he's lost his his unbeaten record, he's got he only, he's only got to look at the guy who's just beaten him. Jay Harris is now uh, 21 wins with 11 KOs. He's got three defeats, two stoppage defeats that I mentioned. There's also the Julio Cesar Martinez unanimous decision defeat which was over in America back in 2020 and I think on the back of that people were expecting Jay to move on and and win maybe 
work his way towards another world title or towards a world title shot. Um, he did fight for that WBC flyweight title against Martinez, but it, it was a, a he, 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 I don't know whether he, he didn't win more than three rounds, but he was competitive in that fight. But you thought he'll hang around at world level and he didn't. He lost those two stoppages. Um, now he's back in the mix and Conor Butler will be, like I say, a better fighter for having mixed it with a guy who at the very least is fringe world level. Jay Harris has never been beaten by a domestic opponent. They've all been um, international fighters. Uh, and he, he, lo- he's looked, he looks better than ever, to be honest with you. He really does. I love the way he, let, he varies his punches. Um, I like I mean, he still stands very upright. As it's, it's not like he's turned into a bobber and weaver. But he he puts that that controlled, confident pressure on an opponent, and Butler, who was in a sense kind of beaten at his own game, um, you know he, he can look at this. I, th- I think Harris is probably about two or three inches taller, so Butler's quite short for the for the flyweight. I think he's about five three. Harris is about five five, maybe five six. Um, but it looked to me like <clears throat> like Butler was, and I mean this in a kind way, was kind of taken to school a little bit. Um, he was learning in that fight. And he'll look back at it, watch it and think, OK, I need to do more of this. I should have done that. And, you know, it's not a disaster for Butler at all. It's not a disaster. Um, he hasn't got a lot of power, Butler. He's only got one KO, one stoppage in 11 wins. But certainly if Jay was to let these belts go and move up and fight for a world title... Um, Butler can pick pick him up as well. Now, for Harris, there is talk of him fighting um, Gladia Fai, the Olympian, Olympic gold medalist. Uh, that would be the old versus the new. Now, Yafai looks very, very good indeed, very good, and already world class, even though he's only had about five fights. Um, and as they say, styles make fights. I would favour Yafai in that fight, but I think Harris would my immediate reaction is he might get stopped in about between the 6th, 7th, 8th, something like that, simply because of the styles. But while it lasted, um, I mean, he would go into that fight with a lot of confidence and he would ask questions of Yafai. I just think Yafai might be a little bit special, just a little bit bit too special. Whereas Jay Harris, I see as being a sort of top 15 world flyweight. I think Yafai has got the potential to win world titles and keep them for quite a while. Um, and he's got that amateur schooling as well, Olympic gold medal. But let's take another away from Jay Harris. This was yet another terrific British dust-up. Um, and also, Jay Harris has won a lot of these belts. The, the, he's, he's won them on the road. This was The latest one was in Liverpool. This was a Dennis Hobson um, promotion at the Olympia. And it was on DAZN as well. It was a small hall show from Liverpool, but it was on DAZN. I'd like to see more of this stuff. You know, there are some weeks when there isn't a great deal on on DAZN, if you're a subscriber, which I am. Um, not many. I mean, most weeks you have something on there. But why not slot in a few domestic small hall shows? Uh, you know, it, it, that'd be great. That'd be a really great addition because I love the small hall stuff. You know, when I go and watch boxing live, it's usually all, almost always at small hall shows. But yeah, go and have a look at it. Go and have a look at this fight because it's well worth your time. It was a very entertaining fight. Congratulations to Jay Harris. Commiserations to Conor Butler. And let me know what you think. Um, what do you think's next for Harris? Would you give him a chance against any of the flyweight champs? Don't forget, we've got Sonny Edwards. I think he's moving down to light flyer. He's talking about doing so. But if he stays at flyweight, why not put him in with Jay? You know, he's on the comeback trail, isn't he? Um, anyway, comments below as usual. Thanks for your time. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new and also hit the like button. And I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Catch you later. Bye for now.